So the funny thing is that they actually have some small stores here. So this morning I saw here like a hairdresser as well. Plus as you can see, the shoe store as well. Within the hotel. And here's the reception area. The chandeliers. So this is a nice sitting area here with the painting actually of the square in front of the hotel. I'm not sure if actually people will sit here to relax. I don't think so. And then there's a very, very lonely horror-esque couch. Like it's, it's actually the camera makes it more light than it actually is. It's actually quite grim and dark. So there's also a bar here or an original restaurant. So and actually to get to the room, you have to take the elevator. You cannot take the stairs, which I think is odd. Jeff, you, you can take the elevator or you have to take the elevator. And of course you have to swipe your card to actually get access to it. Then actually, instead of the door that you come into, we'll open. Nope, it's the other one. So let's check out the hotel room. Let's see if it's as fancy as the reception. So here it is. All right. Okay. Good thing is the airco is on because I'm on the seventh floor. So it's the top floor. They have a. Oh, sort of like partly flat roof. There I am. So let's see. All right. All right, looks kind of nice. I love it that this uh, room is uh, air conditioned instead of the other one in Chesky Kromlov where it's actually during the night. It got uh, rather hot. Here we have a television here. Let's first check if they have a mini bar. At least for some coffee, tea. All right, let's see. Okay, so you got your two beers, two waters and a cola. Now, according to um, what I read about this hotel, I'm not sure yet, is that everything in the mini bar is actually free. If that's the case, it's actually a very good deal because, you know, instead of like going to the other hotel where it was uh, for a water they asked, 85 crowns, which is uh, three euros or something like that. So it thinks way too much. Let's see the bathroom. Okay, is there a light? Yeah, here it is. Okay, actually quite nice. A little bit standard, but you know. Well, I cannot complain to be honest. It actually looks quite nice. And um, well, compared to the room in Chesky Kromlov, this is just half the money. So then you can see that it's only 30 minutes away. It's less touristic, way less touristic, Chesky uh, Budiewice. But you also pay half the money for a room. This is officially a four and a half star hotel. Not sure if I would rate it like that, but the other one was a four star in uh, Chesky Kromlov. And the location is as well here very nice. It's at the biggest square here, the biggest main attraction. It's just like a huge square, which I will show you guys probably in a different video, probably in the video before this one. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite nice. I'm quite happy. Let's see if the bed is also good. Like in the last hotel, the bed was really good, but 
Uh, unfortunately, I must say that the pillows are so soft that you just basically lay down on the mattress. All right, bouncy. Well, the pillow feels a little bit better. I cannot complain, actually. I like it. I actually really like the style of the room. Yes, definitely. So if you want to know more about the hotel, as per usual, I just put a link down below. Um, then you can Google it yourself or, you know, go on booking.com or... But actually, the first question is, is it actually worth it to come to Ceska Bodiovice? We'll find out in the next uh, episode, I think. All right, so I would just say uh, I'm going outside. Of course, tomorrow I will have breakfast here, see if the breakfast is uh, any better or worse than the other one. And yeah, so far so good. So I'm currently in the restaurant of the hotel. I'm actually indoors. Most people are sitting outside. I personally don't like to eat outside, so that's why. It's uh, luckily empty. It's a very nice, dark restaurant. Before, of course, my dinner arrives, first I have a beer. This is actually Kozol Czerny. It's dark black beer. And in my opinion, it's the best Czech beer there is. Cheers. So for dinner, I ordered some lamb meat, which was actually really good. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot, but the meat was really soft and would fall apart in your mouth. So I really, really enjoyed it. And also as a side dish, you can see here behind, was some mashed potatoes with garlic and was actually pretty surprisingly good. And for dessert, I actually ordered the same thing as the restaurant in Chesky Kromlov. However, it was a lot less and as you can see, a lot less spectacular as well. Taste was still good though, but you know, Chesky Kromlov was unbeatable in this regard. And then it was time the next morning for breakfast and wow, I was so disappointed by it. You know, what you can see here on the plate actually was a piece of bread, some sausage and, and an egg. And some coffee of course and some juice. But that was actually really it. There was also a piece of cake. It was not very tasty and really a massive disappointment. So the breakfast hall consisted out of like two big rooms. Uh, I was sitting in the back room and I'm now showing you guys the main room. There was already by this time some tables free, but when I entered it was full and it looked actually not really appealing. So that was my stay in Grand Hotel Svon in Ceske Borjevice. The location was perfect, the bed was really great, the dinner was pretty decent. Breakfast, really a disappointment, but hey, that was it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you next time.